I just turned this single sentence into this professional infographic in under five minutes. No Canva, no Photoshop, no design skills, just AI prompts and a platform called Vengage. Let me show you exactly how it works. Here's the problem. You've got great ideas, solid data, and you know that if you package them into a clean, shareable visual, people will actually pay attention. But the moment you open Canva or try to build something from scratch, you're stuck. You're manually changing every color to match your brand. You're Googling how to make this accessible and finding nothing. And an hour later, you've got something that looks okay, but doesn't feel right. I've been there. I used Canva for years, but here's what it doesn't do. It doesn't generate structured layouts from a prompt. It doesn't auto apply your brand kit across every element. And it definitely doesn't run accessibility checks or give you AI design feedback. You're doing all of that manually. Vengage is different. It's an AI powered design platform built specifically for people who need professional professional infographics, presentations, and documents in minutes, not hours. It has over 100 free AI design tools, but today we're testing their flagship feature, the AI infographic generator. My goal, build a clean, social feed-ready 2026 marketing trends, one pager in under 10 minutes, complete with stats, charts, and takeaways. I want it accessible, on brand, and ready to share the moment I'm done. And I want to show you exactly where Vengage beats Canva. Let's go. All right, I'm starting from the Vengage homepage. Right in the center, there's this AI prompt widget where you can choose your tool before you even type anything. This is new. They updated the homepage, so you pick your generator first, then write your prompt. I'm selecting AI Info Graphic Generator from the dropdown. Now I'm going to paste my prompt on screen so you can see exactly what I'm feeding it. Here it is, 2026 Marketing Trend Snapshot, Headline, Three Key Stats, One Mini Chart, Three Takeaways, CTA, Bold, High Contrast, contrast, clean layout. That's it. One sentence, 33 words. I'm hitting generate. And in about 30 seconds, Vengage gives me four different layout options. Look at this. Each one has a different visual hierarchy. This one puts the stats front and center. This one leads with a big headline and graphic. This one has a sidebar layout with the chart on the left. And this one uses a grid structure. This is the part that would normally take you half an hour in Canva trying to figure out where to put the headline, how to organize the stats, whether the chart should go top or bottom, what font sizes to use. Vengage just hands you fully structured options right out of the gate. You're not starting from a blank canvas. You're choosing from layouts that already work. I'm picking this one, the layout with the bold header at the top, stats in a three column grid, and the chart positioned off to the side. It's clean, it's scannable, and it already looks professional. No fiddling with alignment or spacing. It just works. Now, if you're working for a client or you have your own brand, you don't want generic colors and fonts. This is where Vengage's brand kit feature comes in. And honestly, this is one of the smartest parts of the whole platform. I've already uploaded my logo, brand colors, and fonts into the brand kit. It takes about two minutes the first time you do it. You just drop your logo file, paste your hex codes, and select your font stack. Once it's saved, you never have to do it again. Now, when I click apply brand kit, watch what happens. The entire infographic updates instantly. My logo drops into the corner. The colors shift to my brand palette blues, grays, accent orange, and the fonts switch to the ones I specified. It's automatic. Every text box, every icon color, every chart element updates in one click. This is huge if you're a marketer or agency. You're not manually updating every text box and color swatch across 10 different elements. You set it once and every design you create from here on is on brand from the start. No more, wait, what hex code did we use for the primary blue again? No more inconsistent outputs. It's locked in. Now let's customize the content. I'm going to click on one of the stat blocks. See this improved text button? That's AI powered copywriting built into the editor. I click it and Vengage rewrites the text for clarity and impact. So if I had something like AI adoption increased a lot in 2025, it tightens it to AI adoption surged 40% in 2025. It's punchier, clearer, more specific. If you're not a copywriter, this is a lifesaver. Next, I want to add some custom icons to make this feel more polished. 
I'm clicking generate icons in the toolbar. I type growth arrow calendar megaphone. Three simple prompts and then Gage generates custom icons that match the style of the infographic. I drag them into place next to each stat block. No icon library hunting, no licensing worries, no downloading from five different websites. Just prompt and drop. I'm also tweaking the chart a bit, dragging the bars to adjust proportions, changing the labels, updating the legend. The editor is drag and drop simple, but it still gives you full control. You can adjust hierarchy, spacing, contrast, padding, all of it. It's not dumbed down it's just faster. You're designing with intent, not fighting software. Here's something most design tools don't prioritize, accessibility. But if you're sharing infographics publicly, especially on LinkedIn, in email campaigns, or in corporate settings, accessibility matters. It affects SEO, it affects reach, and honestly, it's just the right thing to do. Vengage has two features built in, AI design feedback and accessibility check. Let me show you how both work. I'm clicking AI design feedback first. It analyzes the infographics graphic and gives me suggestions in plain language, standardize icon styles, add icons to stats, update decorative images. These are the kinds of notes a professional designer would give you after a review, but the AI catches them in seconds. Now I'm running the accessibility check. This is the real deal. It scans for WCAG compliance. That's the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, the International Standard for Accessible Design, and flags issues like missing alt text, poor color contrast, and elements that won't work with with screen readers. As a result, 10 issues have been found, all with structured and detailed descriptions. What's important here is that these are not random or nitpicky warnings. The checker is doing its job properly and flags real accessibility issues that are commonly missed in design. The main problems it identifies are text size and color contrast. Some text elements are marked as too small and one of the stat blocks doesn't meet the contrast requirements between text and background. These are considered critical accessibility issues. Everything else, like alt text, reading order, headings, and use of color, is marked as manual review, not as errors. That means the structure is already sound, and the checker is simply asking for confirmation. So the takeaway is simple. The checker accurately identifies what actually matters, and with a few quick adjustments, the design can be brought up to accessibility standards without extra effort. This matters because accessible designs reach more people. They rank better in search engines, they're easier to share across platforms, and they work for everyone, not just people with perfect vision on a desktop screen. And Vengage makes it effortless. You're not hunting for plugins or running external validators. It's built. All right, the infographic is done. Now I need to export it. Vengage gives you two main options, PNG for social media and PDF for sharing or printing. I'm exporting both. The PNG is high resolution, 300 DPI and perfect for LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, or a blog header. The PDF is print ready and keeps all all the accessibility features intact, like alt text and screen reader compatibility. So if someone downloads your PDF and opens it with a screen reader, it actually reads the content correctly. That's rare. Let me show you how this looks in context. I'm dropping the PNG into a social feed post mockup. It fits perfectly in the carousel format. No cropping, no awkward resizing. The dimensions are optimized for the platform. LinkedIn's algorithm favors native images that don't get cut off in the feed, and this nails it. But infographics aren't just for social. You can use this exact workflow for internal reports, quarterly updates, team dashboards, project summaries. You can use it for pitch decks, drop the infographic on a slide instead of a wall of bullet points. You can use it for email newsletters. It increases open rates and click-throughs because visuals break up text. You can use it for blog headers, client presentations, onboarding docs, even printed handouts at events. Vengage is built for repetition. Once you have your brand kit set up and you understand the prompt structure, you can crank out professional visuals in minutes. Marketing team needs five infographics for a campaign, no problem. Sales team needs a one pager for a pitch, done in 10 minutes. And here's the kicker. All of this generation, customization, accessibility checks, unlimited exports was free. Vengage's free plan gives you unlimited access to over 40 AI design generators. You're not locked into a paywall after three downloads. You're not watermarked. You just create. Let's be honest, most of us aren't designers. We're marketers, founders, content creators, project managers, people who need to communicate ideas clearly and quickly. And for years, that's meant either spending hours in Canva, paying a freelance designer, or settling for ugly PowerPoint slides that make you look unprofessional. Here's the thing. While you're spending 45 minutes tweaking a Canva template, your competitors are using AI 
to ship five infographics in the same time. They're posting more, engaging more, closing more deals, and the gap is widening. Vengage changes that equation. It doesn't replace designers. If you're building a full brand identity or a complex editorial layout, you still want a human. But for the 90% of visual tasks that are repetitive, time sensitive, and need to be on brand, Vengage gives you a way to move fast without sacrificing quality. What sets Vengage apart isn't just speed. It's the fact that they build accessibility and brand consistency into the core workflow. You're not just making something that looks good in a vacuum, you're making something that works for everyone, that aligns with your brand guidelines, and that you can actually use in real business contexts without revisions. And they keep iterating. Vengage regularly rolls out new AI generators for presentations, instructions, icons, charts, timelines. If you're someone who creates visuals regularly, this platform gets more valuable over time. You're not learning a new tool every month. You're getting better at one tool that keeps expanding. The reality is this. Professional visuals are no longer optional. They're table stakes. LinkedIn posts with infographics get three times more engagement. Pitch decks with clean data visuals close faster. Email campaigns with custom graphics convert better. If you're still doing this manually, you're not just slow, you're losing. If you've been bouncing between Canva, Figma, and Google Slides trying to cobble together something that doesn't embarrass you, try Vengage. It's faster, it's smarter, and it's built for people who care about the outcome, not the process. Here's the thing, I wouldn't recommend something I don't actually use. I've been testing Vengage, and it's genuinely a better solution than my previous design workflow. It's free to get started, no credit card required, and if you decide to upgrade, you can find a promo code in the video description for 50% off the premium or business plan. If you make something cool, tag Vengage vids. I'd love to see it. Subscribe if you want to see more tools like this and drop a comment. What design tool are you using right now and what's slowing you down? All right, see you in the next one.